It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Felice Herrick and Paige Van Zandt. All right, so here's the mixed martial arts superstar, Paige Van Zant. This is a fighter's fighter, DC. She could do any number of things when it comes to her celebrity and her profile. She wants to fight in the UFC, and she's back tonight. She wants to be inside the octagon because she understands that before the UFC and before all these things, she was a fighter. Yeah. She came here to try and build a career. And by building a career, she built a second career outside of fighting, from dancing with the stars to the swimsuit edition. All of it, though, is based on her ability to win fights. When you go back and you watch some of her victories, the Alex Chambers victory and the jumping kick against Beck Rollins, you understand the level of martial artist that Paige Van Zandt is. She has missed a lot of time due to injury, missed all of 2017, had an arm injury that kept her out most of 2018, now plying her trade as a flyweight. We'll see how it goes for PBZ here tonight. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jujitsu. I don't want to kickbox and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Van Zant is 26. Herrig is 35. The rest is nearly identical. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, 12-gauge Paige Bazaar. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Felice Lil Bulldog Harry. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight. Well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. And we see it playing out. This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She could be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. And there comes the separation now. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. That's a big strike right there. Back in the clinch now. Right hand punch in the clinch. Big body kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And she's back in the clinch. Big right hand. They're going at it now. Oh, straight right. Another clinch position. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great time to land that punch. So just over 20 total strikes, DC, have landed for Felice Hill. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, it's one thing to be confident in your chin. It's another thing to leave your head wide open for damage. And that's exactly what she did there as she eats the uppercut. Let's see if she circles out and tries to prevent any further damage here. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. 
Van Zant's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here today. Nice stick with the right hand. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches. Though. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. 90 seconds now to go in round one. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, she lands it up and cut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. How does she build on landing that nice punch over and over again? It won't take many of those. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, Chad. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Ooh. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Man, her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing is on point, her accuracy is on point. She's very busy, she's in a good flow. All right, well, what a round it was. You know, she kicks like a mule, and that kicking game was on full display in that round, champ. And you see the damage that it's done to her opponent. Her opponent's limping back to the corner. She's moving much more slowly as the fight is going on. That was a great game plan developed by her and her coach. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to be there. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will in turn put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. Left hand punch in the clinch. Another clinch position. 65 total strikes and now landed for Paige Van Zandt. And the connection rate, pretty good. 55% to this point in the fight against Felice Harris. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter, you're successful. Let those combinations string together. Spinning back fist. Van Zant's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Good punch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, she connects with the right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Harry gets in the clinch yet again. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Digging kick. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job defensively. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh, now she's got the tie clinch. Good opportunity to do significant damage here. So again, they will clinch here. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Van Zandt. 
All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round. DC, what a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And they separate. Takedown defense holds up. Pretty good connection by her there on the knee, and I don't care where you are. She did not miss that. She's been looking for it, and she finally got it. And now she's going to see if she can close the night. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Liver kick. Eric's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any throw. What a strike right there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on her bike, now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Find some space so that she can evade her opponent's finish. So there she is, your winner by submission, and there will be no wiping the smile off her face tonight as she turns in one of the bigger highlights of her UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Felice Lampupa! Well, really nice to see this young woman get a chance to exhale as she celebrates with her coaches. You've won world titles in two divisions, but you're not calling your shot the way she is. She said, I'm going to win this fight by submission, and it goes into the books just that way. That's so much confidence to put yourself out on the limb like that. Nobody is brave enough to say, I'm going to do it here, here, or here. She did exactly that and got that submission. Her star will only shine brighter after this performance.